Lord of Flames here, and right now, I'm recording this on Premiere. Not I'm re not I'm recording it on Saturday. I'm doing right now on Friday. Since I'm going, since I'm uploading, I'm uploading this on Saturday. So this is different now. If I had to do the same thing for Final Fantasy 2, it'd be on me. Maybe. But anyways, here we are. Episode 2, Needle and Smiles, The Lost Tape. Man, I'm so excited. Everything that sneak peek, something's gonna happen. Because that part of that end of that sneak peek of him saying free kids if you want, but he didn't. I don't think he mentioned about his siblings, if he has a sister, that he might have a sister. But even he has a brother. Or rather, he did do like a countdown, like free. I mean, three, two, one, and he attacks the guy. I don't know, because I don't know what's for that part of the line. I mean, something's going to happen, which is coming right now. And we're going to learn more about Dr. Ferguson looking something around the asylum that it could be... Something about Zalgo, which we hope to think about it. Um, here we go. Full screen this time. Yeah, there's Jeff right there. Hey, I know it's a cat. I know it's a cat. Hello, my name is Doctor England. Yeah, we I know. I used to be the principal at Spokane Washington High, but quit when a one Jeffrey Keaton. And his older brother so David is had poisoned the school in darkness. If it is, after Jeff spent I think many a year locked away in Ferguson's asylum, no. he escaped one grim night, unleashed the inmates from their cells, burning most of the large asylum down. Among the ash and scorched brick, made a black bag with a collection of VHS tapes labeled Project. See. Yep, and Alone I already saw that scene, the, miscellaneous the black cat with the red eyes, which I, I will think watch is Salgo right and there, to them disguising, in hopes to start from the dehumanizer to what happened behind those wretched walls. And even more importantly, understand that line right what there. lurks in that it boy's more eyes fun in who him. walked into Every my life I first so long ago. the first audio drama, he doesn't smile. That photo These now being brought back, lost tapes. and he said it the same thing, the same line. Oh man. And yes, folks, I'm wearing this. I bought this. I bought this on MBK store on Teespring, and oh my god, that, that, that same scene, oh my god. Hey Jeffrey, my name is Sarge. Now, I'm in New Orderly, so if you be cool to me, I'll be cool to you. I'm a family man, so if I have to, I know when to lay down the wall. Oh, a family man, you say? Three kids? Two? One? A boy and a girl. <laughs> oh. Which one do you love more? Excuse me, I care about both my children equally. You ever imagine what you might do with something awful? Oh, he mentioned about his what father. Happened to them? All right, get moving, asshole. Can you see little Timmy being scraped off the freeway? Now, douchebag. How about your daughter? The smell of her rotten body as she lies dead on a cold slab. Ah. It's your daughter, then. You think little Timmy feels your contempt for him? You think he knows that he is less loved by dear old daddy? Oh my god. Every time he talks about these stuff, it's like you mentioned about his own childhood past as well. Because we all know how it's difficult, difficult for his life in the time. Besides, what if he was... He moved or lived with a different family that is not the one that we showed or saw in the first animated movie of his? What if that happened? Does that mean Jeff and Chris, no, I mean David, David and Jeff would have a different life if they don't have to become evil? 
you know? What did that change? If there's like a theory about that. Cause I know Jane already have a normal life before all this started. Here, Dr. Ferguson. More talking about the asylum, something what he saw, or more about Jeff. Hello, Jeffrey. Ah. How are you today? Living the dream. Just don't know who's. Did your pet spider Steven bore you audible relief? What the heck just happened? Yes, uh... Well then, Jeffrey... Um, was that part of the bloopers, or...? ...for little Stephen in hopes to I don't know what happened right there. the issue. We didn't but find any in a... spider. Okay, I'm going to listen to Mr. Dr. Ferguson's voice if I don't have to interrupt things. Okay, I'm not good right now because... Back in the first episode that he's he was Jeff was like sniffing and say chicken. Greetings, my financial backers. Oh and you your bastard Mr. Christopher Ferguson. You I'm currently the bastard. <laughs> Is this on, Diane? Yeah, I Fair know bitch. him. He Hopefully, he's the one who killed David. Greetings, my financial him. backers and Fiora, Dr. Christopher Ferguson. But that I'm currently you. documenting You're not this Dr. momentous Christopher Ferguson. occasion with this audio recorder from Seed Song. Eh. Tonight, I will have a I forgot his name, but he was the fact that he was in Smiles and Jeffy said, but he's evil. He to life. Through a complex method of breeding four distinct dog species, as well as chemical. Oh, he's talking about the rake. He's I talking about the making of the rake. A I remember they that, yes, that this rake creature was been made by these guys. That, this Fer shall that Ferguson be and the others like have some sort of scientist like that's him who's working on motion. making this rake. <laughs> Besides, the original rake still doesn't have like an origin story the most to this very day. Steroids and using I guess we found out one. Of electricity. This is going to be marvelous! <laughs> what? No! No, my machine! God, bring in the fire hoses! Hurry! Right away, Dr. Preston. Hurry up, hurry up, or I'll sew your lips together! Look at my genius on fire! No, this is all wrong! All wrong! All wrong! It was me who done it. I destroy your machine. <laughs> Go to sleep. Ah, that line what again. Is its origin? Does it ever bother you that you're bald? What? Uh, no. Of course not. My father was bald. But you're not your father, though. Huh? No. I never said I was. I mean, yes, there are similarities, I suppose. Well, no. No, I'm not my father, Jeffrey. You don't sound sure. Let's stay on track. How about your father, Jeffrey? Oh. Is it true you and your brother killed him? Well, it's true. Wolf? Come again? The wolf's head on your cane. Why? Oh, yes, pure silver. 
It was actually, well, my father's. He gave it to me. A gift. <laughs> Happy I'll birthday. I will put it this way, Jeffrey. The day I got my cane was very much a happy occasion. Father's hair, or lack of. Father's cane, father's asylum. I'm starting to see those similarities you mentioned. Hmm. He was a cruel man, a man who lacked a moral compass. Godless, truly godless. I'll never be like him. I don't foresee it, at least. <laughs> the point of these sessions is you, not me, Jeffrey. Now why the mask? Please, give me a straightforward answer. Why do you wear that mask? The man is not what he thinks he is. He is what he hides from everyone else. I am aware of what Hiding Chris Max did. Or he carved corner. your mouth up and bleached your face. Or hide your identity. He made you a living, or breathing representation something you've of been a drawing you sense. drew in art class. It's like what you hiding or plucking your utter self. Killer. Hiding if your killer self. Serves correctly, and then the outside you no trying to, to be normal like here. us. Or and something Max, else. LJ, Toby, they all... Mm, never mind, I shouldn't say. Now who is holding back? Whatever are you speaking of, Jeffrey? Well, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but they all hide their thoughts from you. They tell me, though, Especially Toby. Mm. Trust me, it's all right. Anything said here is between you and me. What have the so other Jeffrey inmates said Toby about now. me, Jeffrey? Well, Toby said you probably have never satisfied a woman, and that's why you're not married. He said what? Don't fib now, young man. Honestly, Dr. Ferguson, what? I don't understand why he's so mean. But he is. Toby pointed to you as you walked by during group. I was just minding my own business, trying to listen to Nurse Betty. He pulled me aside and said, Hey, 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 man, look at that fat bastard. Bet he never gave a girl a good pounding. I replied to him not to say such things. Oh, did Toby already oh, saw no. that tape as well? Sailing with your underpants. Or That's what? That's enough, Jeffrey. Why would Mr. Rogers say such nasty things about me? I believe they're as good as m m most people. But guys like Toby might just be bad eggs. Oh, so, Jeff, you. Monster. You're Even blaming Toby, huh? Toby's a vulgar, truly. Mocking vulgar. Toby? Not to mention so far left field from actuality that it offends the senses. But I will not lose my head over this. Oh. Toby oh, needs losing your as head. Much as oh, you soon Here will at Ferguson's be aside. by Slenderman. Oh, wow. That's so. New age and kind, I suppose. You don't think that's fair, Jeffrey? Well, no. Uh, uh, sure, you're you're right. I mean, if you're okay with someone attacking your manhood, then uh, so be it. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't get how letting a bad age just say whatever he wants in your asylum is. Uh, Healthy. But gee, I, I just can't help thinking. What would your father have done? He was tough. He was respected. He wasn't 
nice. He wasn't fair. But he was indeed respected. Maybe I should have Dr. Paxton pay Toby's cell a visit. A light oh, reminder Dr. of consequences. Okay. That's a name. Yes! Yes! That just might be the ticket! I, I mean, if you think it's a good idea, Dr. Ferguson. Oh, oh no, ticket! Mm, it's a ticket! You tattled on one of the many things Toby has said against the kind Dr. Ferguson. Oh no! The worst has happened! The sadness has struck me again! <laughs> It will be okay, Jeffrey. You didn't do anything wrong by relaying this information. Besides, we still you don't even know why or how, how he became the killer. If I it's just because back in the week, the wrath of Jeffrey Keaton with that some sort of curse, I got witch, Thursday or something next. else. Because Algo wants Jeff, and that witch wants him as well. Okay. But how? Okay, how he became like this oh. way? Because oh, no. everybody, everybody yeah. wants to know about Come how on. and why Carnage yeah. became yeah. this way like before he took the symbiote. But now with One, Jeff. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, the counting trick. I see someone has been using Nurse Betty's advice from Gru. Oh. Excellent listener, Jeffrey. Something to... You're making such progress. And thank you for coming forth about Mr. Rogers' negative behavior. One, two, three, four. I'll see you next week. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, one, two, three. You're leaving the camera, Danny. Are you kidding me, Ferguson? Dr. Ferguson! Dr. Ferguson! You left your cam. <laughs> uh, my butt just going this way. That will be fine. Wait, that's it? That's the end of the Christmas? Man, I thought there will be like that, uh, that Dr. Ferguson's audio recording of what she discovered on the asylum once again. We need to know a bit more around the asylum that had Salgo. Huh. But still, that's awesome, my That's awesome for this episode, oh my god. Man. That's amazing. <sighs> Good episode there. Man. If we have a little bit of name have a little bit word for Toby in the episode, a little bit represents. But uh I'll just lower the volume. Okay. So the episode was really good and um so let me think. So this episode is just about their past, their childhood, something about their parents these days. It's it I think the episode is about that this time. And something about the sibling stuff or something and uh, and Toby or Jeff says something about Toby, says something right to Ferguson about this woman, which I know we already know back the audio drama. With that tape Jeffrey just discovered before the end of this audio drama. Which we all know about that. So maybe the third episode would be something about that this time. Or more about Project Z. That is Zalgo. So. Um, I try to think, try to think. Um, the. Project of what Ferguson just discovered.
back in in around the asylum that he um, something about those walls that are moving which I always have a feeling back in that art banner cover in, in Mr. Barry Cougar's channel is something about like I think those are like Zalga wall Zalga blood around the walls or something else but Zalga blood's wall art like moving around like symbiote or something I don't know which is very odd now Zalgo is around here somewhere and we need to know more we need to have if we might have white mouth in one of the episodes because remember in white mouth spin off on you drama get the second place with four needles and smiles uh, it has to be something about that too if white mouth might find a way to uh, get Jeff out of here well find Jeff of course but um so, uh, what am I saying? So, this is mostly just about Jeff's parents, well, his dad, of course. But, of course, those are not his real parents. Because, back in Jeffrey's dead, and the other audio dramas, that he, he and David were moved out. Split, to, split apart to live in these other two families instead being adopted so that's a different reason not sure why they had to live with those two um and of course we know a little bit about Fer Dr. Ferguson's past a little bit about his father as well and something about the wolf cane hmm a little bit of telemetries like Dr. Ferguson's a little bit similar to his father, but I don't know about Jeff. If he's a little bit similar to his his uh, adopted father, or uh, someone similar to his grandfather. But I don't know. We still don't know to this very day on how or where, who, how Jeff became this way as a killer. Not like he has like some sort of person. Of course, in that movie of it, be said something about his personality disorders or something. But I know back in the wrap of Jeffrey Keaton it explains a bit that this witch, I forgot her name, but she did it. She done something that what she did to Eilish Jack and well Jack Keaton and Jeff. But well, why she didn't do it to the whole family, the whole Keaton's family? Like, she wouldn't have done that. She shouldn't, like, just think about, hmm, I'll think on one person in the future, the very far future in the 2000s. That one person named Jeff. I sense the future. Like Anakin Skywalker. But no. But I don't know. But still, the episode was amazing, and, uh, Something about what happened in that part of that ending that Jeff is going to meet with Dr. Parkinson. Like he said about his ticket for an exit, perhaps. If he might try, but we all know that won't happen. Because remember in the audio dramas on how Jeff escaped? We already know, but that part of that scene, we all know he won't escape in that time. Because I don't know what year or month. This is taking place right now, because this all happened back in 2009, and it lasted in 2014. So that's how long Jeff's been there, so he never managed to escape those other years. And Jeff has not been cured or anything, which is kind of sucks for him, of course, but still. We know, and now we finally get to know about a little bit origins of the rake. Of course, we heard about it in the audio drama, but showing a little bit of Dr. Patterson doing some sort of experiment. Which finally explains a bit. And I thought of that scene with him, the one on the left, Sarge. I thought it was going to be a little bit represent to uh, Rob Zombie Halloween 1 with that scene of this uh, nice person. A janitor is being nice to Michael 
when he was when Michael was a kid and a little bit older. That janitor said to be nice, but it's a little bit references in that part, I guess. But who knows? If we have a little bit reference to that, then maybe a little bit reference to Jeff will might attack him. But no way, we already got Janet during the audio drama of Needles and Smiles. But still, we have a little bit of that to reference to it. If Jeff would do the same thing like Michael doing a TV slam, <laughs> or maybe that was just, I think that was a TV. Anyways, so. This reaction, this video, the episode was amazing with Mr. Betty Cougar. You and the others did amazing. You did amazing. I don't know what will the third episode will be like. Maybe more about Project Z, that is Zalgo. Like, what does that word supposed to be mean, though? Like, is it still about Zalgo? Because the word Project Z, Project Z. If it could be Zalgo or Project C, if it if it had to be Project R or something, it would be about the rake. Or Project C. I tried to think if Dr. Ferguson was just still just looking for that blood or something, trying to learn of if he's going to experiment on it. If it could be. If it had to be. Something about the I don't know, I tried to figure out, I don't want to mess it up, the theory or something. If I don't want to, to know or something, not yet, not yet. But, um, so we finally know a bit about the Rake story. Uh, something a little bit about the asylum with the Zalga blood around the areas. And a little bit more, know a bit about Jeff's past, a little bit about his father, well, adopted father. And... A little bit about Dr. Ferguson's backstory, and a little bit more, a little bit for Dr. Ferguson's scenes a bit, and um, so yeah, that's all we got to know about for this episode. Um, I don't know what the first episode will be like if it's going to be about a little bit Project C, which I already said it, but still, or we're going to know about we're going to know more about Jeff because we need to know more about Jeff, okay? <sighs> Besides, how long or how long Jeff and David been with the adopted family? We still need to know more about it. Or, well, we might go to see more bit about Toby or Laughing Jack. We haven't seen Laughing Jack for a long time ever since the ride with Jeffrey Keaton. <laughs> Besides, I want Laughing Jack back, okay? Yes, he's. Oh my god. Because Happy's. Those are your dramas with him in it. It's so funny, but I like him in the one in the Blood of Jeff the, Blood of Jeff the Killer. Of course, he made a cameo appearance in the rough with Jeffrey Keita, and still awesome, though. <sighs> and. Yeah, folks. This is amazing. And yeah. I'm. I truly did bought this online, and this looks amazing. And I'm still excited for Dehumanizer 2. Once the Dehumanizer 2 release, I'm bringing this, bringing this back on. And even if third episode comes first, because I know the Dehumanizer 2 will come next year, perhaps, due to how long the coronavirus will stay for stay for long. But still. Episode 2 is amazing, even for Episode 1. And I'm still waiting for Episode 2 to come because it's 15 minutes to get it ready, but... I don't want to stay for that long because I need to get some rest because tomorrow I have to go... Well, on Saturday I had to go hiking. So, I hope you enjoyed this. And Mr. Betty Cooker, still, you and yours did amazing. You... You did amazing, I can't wait. And I still can't wait for that final audio drama. <sighs> can't believe I had to end it with that final audio drama. It'll be the last time. <sighs> I'm still gonna miss it. But I know you're gonna work on new stuff. New, uh, more 
spin-off prequel movies or something, a new series, or maybe with another, if you still continue with Creepypasta, or if not, then you can make a new type of horror saga, new horror series on your drama, with new creatures or characters. How about the skeleton face? Yeah, like, like, remember, like, back in Cold TV? Maybe you do somewhere, somewhere like that. Like, you still working on the, like, for a sequel for the skeleton face, and maybe you could work on something about that. I don't know, because that's a new, like, that's something new you were doing those years ago in 2018, and something more about for the skeleton face. Still ex I still excited for that sequel, but of course, too many projects you've been working on, so I'll wait. <sighs> well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And Mr. Big Cougar, I still love this shirt. I still love it. It's, it's amazing. We need more Jeffrey Keaton, okay? I'm still waiting for Jeffrey for the Dehumanizer 2 in Episode 3 and the final audio drama. And I'm still, well, uh, ever since I released Truth Be Told, the fan film, those, like a month ago or a week, I'm still working on some, my like, for the third movie because. I decided to have Halloween, uh, Halloween Night and Truth Be Told connected. And decided to work on the third movie, which I'm working on concept art storyboards already. To know what will the third movie, will, third fan film will be like. But I need to wait, need to figure out if I don't want to mess things up for each character. So am I going to add some familiar characters like... If I had to bring Alice Jack or Slenderman, someone, or I'd rather, rather just have Zalgo and Jeff. Who knows? And I'm still having Harry Flu TV as Jeff for the voice for the fan film version. And, uh, yeah, I'm still working on that fan film, which I may not get it ready for this year. Maybe at Halloween? If not, then probably late 2020 I guess or next year so I'm still waiting for the time to get it ready since I'm working on the storyboard and yeah okay I don't know what I'm talking about those but episode 2 is amazing and I'm waiting for this bluebird to come out I hope you enjoyed the direction video folks this is Lord of Flames here I will see you guys next time bye folks have a wonderful day.